Hello YouTube and welcome to yet another general vlog video. Let me adjust you guys just a little bit there. There, that's not too bad. Today we're going to do another craft item tonight. As you can see, still same shirt. Last three videos I've done, but I've done them all within the last couple of hours. Today we're going to make another craft. It's not going to be Christmassy. It's going to be more manly than not until the end and you'll see why um well no need to explain it let's just turn you guys around over here and i'll let you see what we're all right so basically i'm going to take some of this used scrap wood that i've got here and i'm going to cut this piece th this is what i use for my backboard my splash guard in my uh kitchen so we're going to take and cut this and then we're going to make a frame for it. And then we got to get it to look right in that frame, which is going to be really hard to do because I didn't cut straight. So let's get on this and let me get some cutting done. I don't think you guys want to be around while I'm cutting because it's going to be a grinder and it's going to be loud, loud, loud. So let me get that done and then I'll bring you guys back here in just a minute. All right, so that's kind of what I had in mind, doing something like that. I cut this in just a wee bit short. I'm thinking about actually redoing it and, and using this one here and making it a little bit longer. Um, in fact, I think I will. And when I mean I cut it short, I'm talking I could just squeeze it together and make it work. But... Which is not what I want to do. Actually, I could. These two here are the same size. I could just grind that edge down. I think that's what I'll do. Let's grind that edge down just a little bit so that'll go that way just a little bit more. So, anyways, let me get things set up the way that I want them to be. And then I'll show you the kind of design and style that I'm looking for. Um, Yeah, you, you'll see what I'm talking about as soon as I come back. Okay, real quick, just so you guys know, what I'm going to do is I'm getting ready to build the frame. And I'll get a little bit of glue on there if I can. Just like that. I want all round edges out. So basically about just like that, but before I start on that, I'm going to take one nail, I'm, I'm going to try not to pre-nail, pre-drill or nothing, in order to keep from splitting your wood, just turn your nail upside down and blunt the end just a hair. Okay. Now that that's on there, all round edges out. I think I might, hold on just one second, let me back you guys up just a hair here. Just like that. I'm going to gently put that in there. This will make it a whole lot easier for me to hammer and get it about perfect. That's about perfect. So let's go ahead and do the other side. And once again, like I said, all round edges out. hard to do things with one hand. Okay. Then we'll do our glue. And then we'll look and make sure that looks good for the front. And we'll get a nail started. Once again, put the, and just, that's all you gotta do is just blunt that in just a little bit. And it 99.9% .9 chance 
won't split your wood. Get it on there, get it feeling good, get it exactly where you want it. Get it almost there, check it again. Now I know this, this isn't going to look like much to you guys, this little bit of a frame, but you'll see when I'm done, you'll see what I was after. Let's get you guys back over here and up on the action where you can see what's going on. A little bit of glue or a lot of glue, whichever you, you prefer. I like to say a little bit of glue, but then I end up globbing it on. Alright, so that's the front. I want that to be front and all round edges out. A lot of glue mess. Just kind of wipe it on your workbench. And then I want to take, eh, boy, I could have been set up for this a little bit better, huh? I'll go ahead and pre-doll two nails. There we go. Now we'll do this again. We want the front to be the other side. That's the front. I know this looks really, really, really tacky right now. And a lot of people would leave, you know, that old barn wood look. That's not the look I'm going after. And I'll show you what I'm going after here in just a minute. Let's get this thing here made. And did you notice I run that nail at a little bit of an angle? I do that to keep them from popping back out. I lie. I do that because I'm messed up. But it sounded good, right? It sounded like I knew what I was talking about. Alright. Get this in exactly where we want it. Just right there. Get it close. Check it one more time. And there we go. So there's the frame. Let me get a paper towel up here and wipe some of this excess glue off. This is the back of the frame. This is the front. Now I'm going to spend very, very little time um, sanding it. I mean very little bit of time sanding it. And I'll bring you back when I get that done. Okay, it's just like that. I spent maybe at the utmost two minutes worth of sanding. And that was it. So now, we'll let it dry for about five, ten minutes. And let that glue get good and set up. And then we'll um, go on to the next process, which you guys are really going to like. So stick around. Look at this dirty shirt. Wow. All right, and we're back. Let's, uh, you can hear maybe a, a hint of what we're getting ready to do. So let's move over to here. Get you guys turned around here. Get you down here on the subject. And here we go. Okay, try not to get in the guys' way.
All right, now we'll do the edges. Well, it's got a lot of sap in that one. I'm happy with that. Sometimes on your end grain, boy, look at how pretty that piece turned out. Look at that. Why didn't you guys tell me I was up too high? All right, now we're going to do the tops and bottom edges. Now we're going to do the inside edges. Do them a little bit darker because the silver backsplash material is going to be up against it. You can probably actually see my frame wobbling and moving. It's still not even dry yet. Well, that, that, that piece there ended up with a lot of character in it. I like that. And we'll, whoop, we'll bring it up here. And you know what? Just simply because it's because I want to, I'm gonna go ahead and do the back. Just a little bit. Just to kind of keep it from that. This basically brings out the natural oils and uh, seals it, although we're going to use something on it. I'll show you in just a second. Excuse me, guys. Slide right past you. You can see, oops, excuse me. You can see there's a, um, a hole where a screw was right in the back, but it doesn't show on the front side. All right. Oh, wait a minute. See, see I want to get in this little crack and corner, and I want to make sure I don't have any kind of cracks and corners up here. That's the show side. All right, now we're going to take, I don't know where it's at. I'm just taking the tank off over here in case you guys are wondering what I'm doing. All right, let me find what I'm looking for and I'll bring you right back. All right, we'll go through this real quick. We'll just take this stiff brush and kind of brush it all off the front face. It don't take much. If you char it, it takes more. All right, I'm not going to do the insides or anything, just the outside face. Then we're going to take boiled linseed oil. Uh, let's see, my screwdriver's here. Take okay, boiled linseed oil. An old rag. And there's still a couple little holes in this from where screws stuck through and everything. And you just want to kind of go around with this linseed oil. So you can see it's all shiny. Do the inside of it. Make sure to get right in them corners. It's still not dry, the glue. 
it is still not dry. We'll give it a chance to dry here in a little bit. And then we'll do the outside edges. Like I said, it's just boiled linseed oil. You buy it probably at any any little uh, old Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace Hardware. You buy it anywhere like that. You guys, excuse me, I got to go right in front of you here. You guys are in my way again. I'm gonna grab a clean paper towel and just kind of wipe it off till that glossiness goes away. Same way at the top and on the insides. And you know what, while we're at it, boy, ain't that a pretty, pretty frame. While we're at it, let's go ahead and I'll bring you guys right back Okay, I wanted to go wipe this thing off. You don't want it perfect if you're going for that old farmhouse look. Of course, you want it clean. But you can see some scratches and a little bit. Of, it looks like it almost started to rust right there or something. That's what you want. Now, I'll show you what my plans are. I went to the dollar store to get some stuff today. And I found some letters. So, if you wanted to make this longer... You could do like Merry Christmas or anything like that that you want to do, but that's not what I wanted to do. But now, let me see if I can find what else I'm looking for. Okay, I had no clue what I wanted to do. I was actually going to paint them, but I ended up burning them instead. So let me take you over there and show you on this one. And I'm burning them a lot darker. That way, they don't look like the other, the frame. So we're just going to burn them. Being real careful, you know, we don't want to start a fire or anything. The image is really nice. I'm using this, by the way, because it's metal. I don't want to do right here because it's plastic, but I know what to watch out for. And since this has got such, so many cuts in it, it's hard to get in there. So you may have to turn it over and do it from the back side a little bit too just to make sure that you get it all. And it doesn't matter which, uh, what letters you use, you could spell out something. You could spell out, um, Owl. <laughs> yeah, you can spell out owl. Uh, you can spell out anything that you want it. All right, once again, I'll be taking my, my torch top off. I lay my torch on a piece of metal over here until it cools down. Hmm. I don't like that. I wish I'd have seen that before I put the torch out. My electric igniter went out on my torch. So I think it's time for a new torch. So I had to locate a lighter and light it manually. Yeah, electric part of it, it still clicks, but there's no sparky. All right, 
I didn't get this edge very well. And maybe the edge can't be even burnt. There are a few edges or a few times that I, I've done this that I was not able to get stuff to cover or stuff to burn, I guess. See, like that edge right there. But I think I got all that pretty good. We'll get right down in the center of that. Now, once again, we got to take the propane torch lid off, torch tip. All right, so now what we got to do, as you can see, I got pretty heavy on that in places. So now you're going to be able to see this is when you definitely want to brush it. You can see the black stuff. See it? So you definitely want to brush it all off. Boy, it's still one hot little piece of wood. All right, there's that one. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and brush this one off. Try to get in there as well as you can. That ought to do it. Look at my hands. I told you. That stuff gets nasty. Alright. So now, I have to find what I did with my rag. We're going to do the same thing as we did on the frame. We're just going to wipe them down with that stuff and I'll bring you right back. So there's where we are so far. Maybe adjust them over just a little bit. Not done yet, but you can see how they kind of look black now compared to these. This is wood. This is wood, but it looks different. I can see on the on this M over here, or W, I guess if you wanted to make it a W, you could. But on the M, they They've sanded down past the, the uh, first layer of wood, and it doesn't quite look right. But you don't want this to be picture perfect. So now, let me continue on, and I'll go get something else I'm thinking of, and we'll see what we got. Okay, going to make this part just as simple as I possibly can. I got an old paint stick. I couldn't find what I was looking for. I was actually looking for uh, popsicle sticks. don't think it's through there enough and I can tell by it not being through there enough that I probably need to go ahead and do this well that was a lot easier to cut with the grain instead of across the grain so we'll just keep going until it gives way to what we want Got a little bit of a bad edge there so I'll go over here and, well, I guess it's not over here. All right, let's move back to the, uh, well, no. We'll stay right here. Let me just grab this sander. And I want to take the sander down. Noise alert. That is going to do what I want it to do. Mm. I'm right behind you guys. Just I'm going to sand that little edge off a little bit. Look 
looks like my cut wasn't perfectly straight but like I said once again you don't want this to be exact all right so now what we got to do is guess what we got to set up our torch again I should have just left that thing set up but I didn't know I was going to do this part it just looks like there needs to be something in the middle so get this torch lit there we go and since it's wood Bet you never thought you'd use a paint stick like this, did you? Now you're gonna watch these little paint sticks, because they're not much. They will actually catch on fire and burn up on you. This end over here. All right now, once again, you know what I'm doing. I'm probably doing it too fast, but I'm taking the tip off. All right. Now we'll take this little brush again. Now I've got to glue this together, so I don't want to put that stuff on it until I get that done, so. Okay, so I bet you guys thought I was going to forget about a back, didn't you? Nope, I got a back. It's just cardboard glued on there. It's a really thick back. Everything's glued on there. Now we're still not done. So once again, all I did was hot glued the letters on. Just like that and then I hot glued a piece of cardboard which is very 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 thick I wish I hadn't used that box I found that box over there in the recycle place but it was all my razor blade could do to cut that box and there's two of them over there I wish I'd have just kept them but anyways that's the back of it now so there it is but we're still not done hold on All right, and real quick, basically what I did is I put a way to hang it. I just drilled through, put tied knot. <laughs> this is actually, um, hold on, I, I couldn't find any rope. So what I did was I cut my apron string off, and this is a, like a work apron. And I, I cut the that off of it. And it's the same thing as this. And then I took some flat black spray paint and spray painted it and then rubbed it all back off and then drilled my holes and stuck it through there and that's what it is. All right, so that's gonna conclude my craft binge. We did three little candle holders, then we did the one that was supposed to be a tea light, and I ended up making it almost like a flower vase. And then we did this. It's got that old rusty country look to it. So you can put anything on it that you want. You can put hi, good morning, beautiful, uh, anything that you want to live, love, laugh, whatever you want to do. I just tried to do something completely different. So anyways, let me set this down over there.
Once again, this is General Vlog Video. Please comment down below. Let me know what you think of this. Let me know what else you'd like to see if you want to see any more crafts. And make sure you subscribe. Please subscribe. And when you do, click that bell notification. Go up to the top and click All. So you'll be notified every time we post a new video. And share us on your social media platforms. Your Facebook, your uh, Instagram, your Twitter. And it don't cost you a dime. And speaking of not costing a dime, go ahead and watch the ads. It doesn't cost you a dime to watch those ads on any YouTuber that you watch. Not just me, but me too, but anybody else that you watch. It really helps us out. So I hope you guys have a great day. An even better tomorrow. And an awesome night. And I might be able to make some crafts and have a little bit of fun, but I'm still my own cameraman, so i got to reach up there and poke you guys in the ear. I hope you have a great, great, great night.